Okay, so today on Bud's Odd Jobs, I'm going to show you how I automate my garage door to automatically close when someone in our family leaves home. Uh, that was my daughter just leaving down the driveway, and she'll soon be leaving from the geofence. The software should recognize that she left the garage door open, so it should automatically close. Now, the other thing that would happen if... Um, if I left as well, it would show that uh, there's nobody home. And at that point, it would arm the security system so that if the house was breached while we were gone, we could know. Okay, so I just got a message on my phone. I don't know if you can see that there. It says performing goodbye as you requested because iPhone Mandy, that's my daughter, uh, has left. So. It closed the door as it should. Now she's just going up the road a little bit and going to come back. And I have the auto open and close routine that I want to show you today. Um, and that should be activated. So uh, we'll come back here in just a minute. To our, our lane here. Uh, she's just about at the geofence. There she struck the geofence. And that Activated the garage door. Okay, with the garage switch activated, you can see there she is coming down the lane. I think you can see. And now there she is turning into the driveway. So with that switch activated, the garage door uh, basically stays open for a minute. You can have it longer than that. Uh, that would give me plenty of time to have pulled into the garage and then after a minute then the garage door uh, would close. So by now I'd be in the garage securely and the door should auto close here in a minute. I don't think she's going to make it inside before it closes. She may. She's getting out of the car. She went. And there goes the garage door. So that gives you an idea of how it works. Uh, she's going to have to manually open the garage door now because she didn't make it before it triggered. Uh, so that's what she's doing at the keypad right now. And uh, there you see how the auto opening works. So let's go ahead and get started on this garage door routine. I use Stringify and I have uh, several videos out there explaining how to use Stringify to uh, create flows. I also have a video to, that explains how to pair Stringify with your smart things. Basically there's a, a way to go in and give permission to Stringify to be able to access your smart things devices. So let's go ahead and open Stringify. So once you're in here you want to go down uh, to flows and let's click on flows okay so the one that I'm gonna show you is the one down here uh, to open and close garage door upon arrival so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that okay and here you see the whole routine and uh, basically you uh, to set up these flows as I've shown in previous videos, you click on this plus sign down here and you add the things that you want to include in your flow. Uh, in this particular flow, I want to include my iPhone. And uh, to be able to use the iPhone, you have, it, have to have it set up as a presence sensor. And I have a video out there that basically explains how to set your phone up as a presence sensor. Yeah, so you'll need to have that set up before you uh, set up this flow. Uh, I also have a garage door sensor. And in a previous video, I explained uh, the type of hardware that I use. I'll link to that video. You can see that up here in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, in addition to that garage door sensor, you also need to have uh, the garage door opener that's right here also again in that same video that 
displayed up here in the corner, uh, I show the hardware needed to, to set that up as a momentary switch. So if you have those two pieces of hardware plus a phone that's set up as a presence sensor, you'll be able to uh, set up this routine. To bring these into the flow, you basically need to check these. Uh, so we can check the garage door opener. We can check the phone. We can also check that garage door sensor. And when you hit click on done, that brings all those over and then you can insert these into the flow. They're already inserted, so I'm not going to reinsert them. The other thing you need is a timer. This is uh, something that is included with smart things and that allows you basically to uh, after an action happens to begin the timer and then once the timer is complete then move on and perform the next step. So let me explain quickly what this flow does uh, and I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so that you can see the settings on these better. So I explained in other videos that these are steps. The um, columns, this first column is step one, this next column is step two. Uh, the way Stringify works, it has conditions, and if these conditions are true, then an action happens. And then following that action, other things can happen. So in step one, what is happening here is that Stringify is checking this sensor to ensure that the garage door is closed. It's also checking my phone to determine if my presence is detected. Uh, Smart Things, as you know, sets up a geofence around the perimeter of your home where your hub is resident. And whenever the hub senses my presence, then this condition would be true. So if my presence is detected and if the garage door is closed both of those conditions are true then it triggers the momentary switch on the garage door opener as soon as the momentary switch here is triggered a timer starts uh, the timer here I'm gonna click on it is set up just for one minute so I'm gonna hit save on that okay so once the timer has expired after one minute the app checks to determine if the garage door sensor is open and if it is and the minute is up then it goes on to the next step and basically this last step what it does it again activates the momentary switch so it pushes the button just like you'd push the button on the garage door opener activating that relay switch and that would close the garage door. So essentially what happens here is when I arrive the system detects my presence it checks to see if the door is closed if those conditions are true it opens the garage door then it waits for a minute it checks to see if the garage door is open if those conditions are true, then it closes the garage door. So automatic open and close upon my arrival. And that's it. It's a fairly simple routine to set up. And uh, let's go ahead and show you how it works in action. Everything seems to be working perfectly as expected. Uh, so hopefully you found this uh, 
content helpful today. And uh, now you know how to set up Stringify to auto open, auto close your garage door. As I mentioned, there are other routines that I've listed on the site. Uh, so you'll want to get a chance to check those out. I'll leave links below for that information. And also I'll leave some links uh, for the hardware that I use in order to automate this process. So thanks for watching today. Uh, make sure that you subscribe. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. That will ensure that anytime I put up more content that you'll receive notice. We'll see you next time.